Here we go. Let's see. Uh, g'day, Stu from UAV Futures, and welcome back to the FPV Mix, the greatest live stream on all of the internet. Sorry, I was a, a little bit late, guys. I went to press that uh, face camera button and realized, hey, uh, we've still got the cover on the camera, and the camera's not even turned on. But we are here. I want you to sit back, relax. For the next 90 minutes, it is all about you, my friends. We're going to be talking some drones, having some fun watching some of your videos, answering any FPV questions that you have, but most importantly, I want you to have a good time. So grab yourself a cup of tea, grab yourself a coffee, grab yourself a beer, whatever you want to partake in while I uh, handle this microphone in an awkward fashion <laughs> right here. We'll be having a uh, good time. Why? Because you deserve it. So whether it's the start of your weekend, whether you've been at work all day, maybe you've got a big day, a big shift coming up, I want you to sit back, relax, enjoy uh, this stream, ask some questions and hang out with the app absolute amazing FPV family we've got here. We're going to be having some giveaways as well uh, coming up in a, a little bit and also you know, hopefully we can make some people's Christmases or what we have. Uh, our last winner was 507 of the jackpot giveaway. So we don't have a jackpot prize anymore. So, well, uh, we're used to not. This time, uh, the winner, let's see if we can get this in shot as well, is going to be getting a jumper. Is it this jumper? Yeah, a jumper T18 radio. So there's a uh, pretty up, uh, pretty basically brand new radio going out to somebody as well. Let me adjust uh, this. Um, but what's been going on? Let's find out who's in the chat. Let's see. We got 44 people watching. 20. I'm gonna press the thumbs up. 19 thumbs up, I should say. Let's see who is in the chat. Who are those 44 people and what are you up to today? Um, and also, I have to give a huge shout out to RS7 Driver. Hey, do you like my t-shirt today, RS7 Driver? I hope you do there, brother. Um, and he's saying, double points for early donations, or does that only work when Sean Winner Williams donates? No, you will get double points. Thank you very much uh, for, that's because, not because it was early, but uh, thank you very much for using that Streamlabs link there. My friend means YouTube doesn't take such a uh, big of a cat, a cut, cat, meow. <laughs> Well, and uh, I can see a drunken bullet saying, Did you get my cryptic message to you? I'm not, I, I got your email. Um, I think if you sent through an email, I've got to match the names up uh, with people. Viewfinder and active, what's going on right there? Let's see if this, this might fix that. Um, all right, uh, Random is saying a boss t shirt. There's drunken bullet super chat coming through saying, Did you get my cryptic message? Uh, Okay, I did check my emails this morning, um, but unless there's something else that I'm missing, let me know, please, uh, Drunken Bullet. Um, that was actually, you know, it was a very motivating read. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, just for being so supportive as well. Uh, it's good to read first thing in the morning. We've got Charlie. Here you go. Well, first, that's from RS7 Driver. And you've also got Drunken Bullet as well. Oh, yeah. Thanks so much, guys. This is, this is delicious. Oh, that's really nice. Also, moving on, you can see we have a new donation uh, goal today uh, because I, uh, we've got this, this to give away. This is a little, basically, event. I have to review this event, which uh, is going to be coming out soon. I can't wait to see how this goes. I've got DJ on it. But they've been making quads for a little while. I've, uh, I had, used to have a couple of these. This is a... I think this is the last one we got. But it's got blue carbon fiber. It's an absolute little ripper. It's a four-inch quad. So something that people don't have uh, a lot of is four inches. There you can go. You can use that, Kiz. But also, you could probably fit DJI in this as well. So if you wanted to pull that apart, put DJI in here, it's pretty much ready to rock and roll. It flies as is, but uh, it would be an awesome DJI conversion as well. It's going to be putting some names in the list we'll be drawing that week as well but our donation goal today is basically uh without i don't want to say any names or anything uh like that but i know there is a uh, a kid who um is in no relation to me at all but you can see it right here uh basically you know we want to help help a help a family out for christmas uh so that's what that's what we're going to be working towards so if you would like to use that Streamlabs link we've got that donation goal right there it is basically to um yeah just just help a uh help help a kid out this christmas i'm sure uh we'll be able to get some warm and fuzzies and uh get some get some get back to you after christmas but yeah basically to help them out a, a little bit drunga bullet says nice nah, sent a Streamlabs message last night oh 
Okay, so I didn't even see that uh, there, Drunga Bull. Let me read that now. Saying work keeps getting in the way of your stream, Stu. Might have to quit so I don't miss the greatest live stream on the internet. <laughs> Oh, how's my grandma teacher with capital letters? Uh, thank you very much there as well. Donnie says, officially broke, but nothing but love to my Australian brother. Thank you very much there, Don. E, uh, every little bit uh, does help. And I promise you that um, the situation that uh, that little donation goal there is is really going to, to make somebody's year. So thank you so much for being part of that. Um, LCV FPV says one month after I ordered it, my flow Lure explorer showed up today and I'm very let down with all the overcomplicated with, with it compared to my baby crocodile from Gep RC. All right, LCV FPV. What was, what's the problem, man? What's, um, what, what does it not do? I think, uh, Nurk said he absolutely loved that one. I have not flown the flow Lure explorer. Let me just say that. Uh, I can't wait to fly this though. This seems to be in the same sort of, uh, ballpark, same sort of style, little GPS, Thing, but I can't wait to see how that goes. Uh, Drunga Bullet says, now spell it out with capital letters, Stu. Um, now nah, my teaching days in uh, in grammar are over, man. You know, when kids would write a story, half the time I half the time I couldn't read it. This is back when I used to be a school teacher, and the other times I'm like, oh, gosh. Where do I even start? I can remember, like, oh, I can't really say their last names without um, giving away who the kids are, but sometimes they'd be like, what's your last name? And they'd say, blah, 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 blah. And I'd have no idea how to spell that. And I'd say, right, can you spell that? And this is in, like, grade four sometimes, like a 10-year-old, I don't know. How do, how do you spell that? I don't know. Oh, mate, well, I don't know. You should know how to at least spell your own name. Woo! Anyway, um, Fitzflight says, Flo announced the Hexplorer today, 4-inch. I'm pumped. Yeah, that actually sounds pretty cool. Let's have a let's have a look for that. I would actually like to... Uh, I haven't flown a Hex for a long time. Let's see. Have a bit of a Google. See what we can find. Do you have any links there, Fitz? Can you tag us? Oh, this... Oh, wait. This is... This, this might not... That doesn't look like it, man. Wow. Check out the price of this drone that I just Googled. This is what we used to have to deal with back in the day. You guys don't understand how good you have it today. Ah, uh, the Storm Racing Drones. For anybody who ever had anything to do with them, it is on special. It looks like it's got BioHeli SESCs. It does have some, it does have two capacitors though, but check it out. If we go to screen share, look at this ancient beast. We've got some, I think I used to have some of these motors. I think I even had some of these khaki shorts or whatever back in the day when I was in high school. But uh, this thing right here, it probably was heavy, handled like a bus. And it is $449, my friend. Does not come with DJI or anything like that. Can you add this to cart? Is it out of stock? This is not the one that Fitz was talking about, but... um. Oh, Cobra Motors, Maytech, Runcam, HQ props. Look at look out look how inefficient these props look. They're probably going to shatter on first impact. Yeah, I don't know. Unique six arms FPV racer with four inch props. Quad frames are good. Try a hex frame. Uses the latest know how. <laughs> What's that? Welcome to the FPV mix. We're using the latest stream know how on how to do things. Um. Uh, me drone says, is Hex just the gimmick? Yeah, honestly, it, it kind of is. Like, I want to try the Flywoo Hex Explorer or whatever because I don't have an original Explorer and Hexes are a little bit fun. Um, it's a little bit different. Is it more efficient? Nope. Is it better? Nope. Is it faster? Nope. I think even though you've got that extra punch, you still have um, a whole bunch more drag. It's like, uh, it is, there is a reason why our quads also just, just, took off that is a terrible pun right there but the reason that quads are so popular they just fly so much better they're more stable than their uh, tricopter brothers and sisters and they just and if you go up uh in terms of performance anyway it, it's a lot more there's a lot more amps and everything with all those more motors a lot more things that can go wrong quads keep it simple stupid the good old kiss method something like this a little four four motors you are set you are off to the races and especially for what we want to do if you're going to be crashing these things racing them through trees all that sort of stuff well uh you don't 
you don't want to be breaking uh, breaking things that you don't have to. All right, Tex Beck, uh, send it through some love as well. Thank you very much there, Tex Beck. We're already up to $14.29. He's saying, hey, Stu from sunny Queensland. I think, it, isn't there a lot of rain up there at the moment or something? Uh, uh, from what I've heard, from what my mum was telling me anyway. Um, and it even got a bit chilly the other day. Um, LCV, FBV saying, just having a buzzer, keep, in, keep locking just keep having the buzzer, keep locking on in the most annoying loud buzz until it dies. Then the VTX they used isn't good at all, and it's a whoop triangle VTX. And the Cadex Ad Cam in it, not RC Nano. Okay, yeah, that doesn't sound, uh, none of those sound like good things. Let's have a look here. Felix helping out as well. Thank you very much there, Felix, saying, Sup, you over futures and family. Keep up the great work, Stu. Uh, it is absolutely my pleasure. I'll put your name on the list as well. That is for the shortlist for the uh, this little event giveaway, which you could convert to DJI if you wanted to. Lars Sam says, how are you doing with the depression? Um... Well, well, what a bit of a curveball to jump in there, jumping from quads, talking about mental health. And look, if anybody is struggling with mental health, the links are in the description down below. There is some help. There's, I think it's a Beyond Blue website, all that sort of stuff. To be honest, it's been rough, man. Like I was, um, it has been frustrating. Like I felt like I was going on a really good trajectory of like, great, this is going to get better. And then out of nowhere, I guess this is what it is dealing with something like depression. Kapow, it punched me in the neck. And uh, that's probably why you haven't seen... As that is why, I should say, if you look on my channel, it's why you haven't seen as many videos as of late. They're doing these live streams, and I am so grateful to have you guys here. Honestly, from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much to just have some people I can get online, talk to you guys, and have some fun, hang out with the stream family. This stream is probably more for me than it is for you guys. Like, you think I'm doing this stream for you? It, it goes absolutely both ways. This is the best part of my working week. I love being here, talking to you guys, and I honestly, truly want to say thank you so much for being here, watching these streams, hanging out, having some fun, doing the FBV mix. Um, but yeah, it, it actually has been a, uh, a little bit rough. I went back to the doctors yesterday, been talking to some people, um, and I think it's just about you know, one one day at a time. And uh, I also want people out there, if you are struggling, please don't feel alone. Don't feel isolated. Um, it's just, it's uh, it's okay to not be okay. And I would like to talk about it as well to uh, bring a little bit of, remove a bit of that stigma around it. And please don't feel like there is something wrong with just you. It's not just you. There's other people there um, but a lot of people are suffering through mental health, and especially with 2020, it has been rough on more people uh, statistically than usual. And I, do, I just want to say, please don't feel alone. We are here for you. There is a kind, loving community here as well. Please go and get some help. And and the main one, don't don't feel, don't beat yourself up. Be kind to yourself. Don't feel bad about it. You already feel bad enough. You've already got depression or anxiety or whatever you're working through. You don't feel you don't need to put that extra pressure on yourself. And um, we're here for you. And I just uh, I hope. In, in some way, part or small, that we can help. Because um, that's truly what, what I believe in as well, is changing people's lives, helping them have a better life, improving their life. And it's only with your help that I've realized that that's why I love drones so much, because how much they change my life in such a positive way, I want other people to be able to do that as well. But I digress. Um, <laughs> let's continue. Christopher Bigelow saying, I love you, Stu. Um, let's have a look here. Scott is saying, well, man, I know how you feel. Um, Drunk and Bullet says, Dr. K on YouTube is great for learning about things and mental health. He talks a lot uh, to a lot of streamers too. Check it out, peeps. Okay, that's, uh, I might have to do that actually. Um, and Mad Grumpy Men said, maybe Bot and Spider segment would crash just Cal and Grumpy Trev. Uh, I would love to see that. Is he, uh, did he do that? I don't know. Um, and FPV definitely saved my life. That is from Reese FPV. And you are not alone. There are so many people out there. And if you are watching this and you have never tried FPV, if you happen to stumble into my stream, uh, I want to say, well, uh, you're going to have a great time in this hobby. There is so many kind people in here. The people in the hobby are actually the best part of it. It's crazy how kind they are on the internet. Um, also, it's just, it is completely life-changing. So welcome, my friend. Uh, welcome to the skies. You are going to have an awesome time. And never look at the world the same way again. Mad Grumpy Man says, yes, a better life. Off a politician today. <laughs> okay. 
Hopefully it doesn't sound like that. I think the difference between maybe me saying I want you to have a better life and a politician is I actually mean it. Um, Kiz Bartlett says, no flying tonight. I've been flying too much recently and I've worn out the pigtail again. There you go. Well, that's uh, that's never a, um, never a, never a bad thing. And Moonrunner says... Can I change them? Can I change a Mobular Seven with Fly Sky to Free Sky? No, you cannot. Uh, the reason is because when you order a Mob Seven, you have to choose your receiver uh, that is inbuilt. It is not like the receivers we uh, we put on these sorts of drones because uh, you have an inbuilt receiver, so it's built into your flight controller. So the only way to change that would be to get a new flight controller board with a different receiver built in. So if you can find that spare part, which means you're gonna have to completely pull it apart and put that in yes you can do that or maybe if there is a spare you are and i don't know if this is going to i have not taken apart the mob 7 you might be able to add an external receiver but i don't know if those tiny little boards on the mob 7s have an external you are available for that you'd have to uh that really is um well it's going back about two years time from now trying to think back to that specific flight controller that the mobular 7 would have used and is there a spare uart on there that's going to enable you to do that i'm not i'm not too sure there sorry my friend um D, du4 fbb says i'm homeless and feeling like a scrooge haven't flown a decent battery in a while hopefully 2021 will be will be better i'm sorry to hear that uh there du4 fbb um I hope 2021 is better for you as well. Mad Grumpy Man says, I know she's sorry, but these are insane times. And this community is the bee's knees. Everyone is so helpful and nice. This is from Reese. Uh, I You can't find that percentage of nice people anywhere. Just uh, just spark a conversation, and the next thing you know, you are best friends. That's right. Mate, look at my friends. It's not like we're, gonna, we're not going to call Russ my friend here, because come on, we're not, we're not going to tell lies. But uh, I talk to Russ every day, a grumpy Trevor, um, Crash Test Cal, we've got Donnie. Like, there's so many people on this earth that I would not have crossed paths with if it wasn't for FPV. And if I did meet them outside of FPV, before FPV, would we be mates? Hmm. I don't know, but FPV, it's kind of like, it's just such a cool way to bond and meet people. And if someone flies FPV, it's like you've got another brother, another family for life. Russ is technically an elder god. That's from J FPV as well. <laughs> oh, that's right. Uh, he's got his, what is it, a phylactery or whatever? Where do, you, where do you keep your souls or whatever? Where does the Lynch King keep his souls? That's where Russ B, that's where, sorry, Russ B, that's where Russ W hangs out. And uh, random FPV is saying FPV community is the best. Uh, I've made lifelong friends through FPV. It's an awesome place. So that look at that random. Our latest man on the legends list. That's not even in focus. What's going on here? Let's see. There we go. Look at that. What a uh, what a fancy name up there. Random FPV and a huge shout out to all those legends as well for helping start the stream and continue to support it. So many kind people up there. We got 70 people watching streaming for 20 minutes, 51 a thumbs up. Our goal today is 150 likes as well as we have our donation goal. Helping um somebody out of this Christmas Scrotary McBookaball saying oh, what's up Stu and Patrick Muscat says Russ has plus one in everlasting life well yeah that's um that's that that might be true he's been around since before uh even existing was a thing I don't know how that works Russ Wolf says more like friend enemies <laughs> Nothing but love, as Donnie would say. All oh, right, there, Russ. You know what we might do? Let's see what's going on in the Discord as well. Check out some of your videos. And if I click on here, besides a whole bunch of Simpsons memes and things that seem to be in the Discord, I should also say if you would like to sell some of your drones, look at this, not my real name, is selling some drones. If I go to screen share, all right, here, this is a little place where people have been selling some things. It looks like this has been sold, so congratulations to whoever bought that. Get by C Mark IV with uh, some TBS, but we also have this one. Um, that kind of looks like an ultralight or something like that. So it has, does it say how heavy it is? Uh, let's have a look here. It looks like it might be. It's built with some pounds as well. 140 pounds. But if you would like to buy something or sell something, you just have this little section right here for sale. Used gear. Feel free to go in there. Peruse some of the ads. Let's have a look here. In your share your videos. Is that one of Kizzes? Ah, oh, look at this. Electric Boogaloo. I wonder if he's got some music right here. We're going to push... 
push this off. And I've got to say, Kizza's flying is getting better, you know? Uh, he's getting a little bit quicker around the place. What uh, I meant to say this to Kiz if he's actually watching here in the chat. Has anyone seen uh, Kiz today? I'm not too sure if he's if he's been here in the chat, actually. But, Kiz, you need to calibrate your gyro, mate, or uh, you need to uh, work on your, what is it, on your trim. Because if you hover your drone in your flying that I always see, it always seems to be going off to one side. So it always seems to be slightly tilted to the roll to the right ever so slightly by about six degrees is that what it looks like to you guys as well so um but look at that the kiss is definitely improving from when he first used to fly around to now ripping it look this is you're getting so much better man i'm uh, i'm proud of you from seeing your first flights to what you're flying like now absolutely killing it well done kiz one of the masters as well someone who does all the clip that segment so thank you very much there kiz for sharing that a little video um <coughs> and we might check out Let's scroll rolling down. Man, there's actually quite a few. Man, there's a lot of videos in Share Your Vids here. Alright, Chuck Toast as well. Let's check out his. Careful with that axe. I'm going to get ready to play that one. Um, he's he's cutting sick on the ripping. That's from Drunken Bullet. Why do crosshairs show up like that? Yeah, I would turn your crosshairs off as well, kids. I don't, I don't like them. When they're flying like that. Uh, RS7 driver says, please confirm the donation bar is helping someone for Christmas. Yes, it is. It is. It's, this donation bar has nothing to do with me and will provide no financial gain to UAV futures or anything like that. This, uh, where, where can you see it? This bar right here is uh, somebody that I want to help out for Christmas. I can't say too much. You know, I want to, I guess, keep things private. But we will... Um, we will get some feedback on it, and yes, I can promise you that uh, it is going somewhere that is really going to make someone's day uh, and really, really help uh, help a family out. So jumping over here to my face cam, you are, that is correct, that donation bar, that is to help a kid out this Christmas, or a family, I should say, out this Christmas. Chuck Toast as well. We're going to check out your video. And let's... Oh. All right. RS7 driver, I am a <laughs> absolute madman. You have honestly just made a uh, a family's Christmas. Um, I uh, you you don't know what you've just done for a, for a family. So thank you so much, there, RS7 driver. He just donated one hundred and fifty dollars towards the cause and. You're an, you are an absolute legend, my friend. Let me tell you, you don't understand how much of a difference um, that's going to make to to somebody. So, you, sir, let, let's just let's just take a moment to say what a legend R S7 driver is, and everybody here in the chat. I am so grateful for just being here and all those people who helped towards that goal as well. But straight off the bat, 150 smackaroonies going out to help somebody, and uh, we will. I, I promise you that you will, uh, we will get you some feedback on that and we'll be able to show you just what an impact that you've had with respects to privacy and all the, all those sorts of things. But I can absolutely promise you that um, you're, you're going to, uh, you're going to be feeling good. So there we go. RS7 driver, you absolute legend. Thank you so much. Um, from just, yeah, it's, uh, I've got the warm and fuzzies thinking about this. So, uh, and you should as well, my friend. Thank you, thank, thank you very much. All right, uh, he has a big heart. That's from Jared D. D, D uh, Jared D. That's how I should pronounce that. Day T is saying a legend. Teddy B saying good on you, RS7 driver. Uh, very kind. Wow, very cool. Uh, J. Dot FPV saying wow, big ups, dude. Uh, that's huge. And Sick of Life says that's one apex seal. That man can't buy now. I don't. What's the apex seal? Is that a, is that a drone? Um, let me. Is, is that like one of Steel's frames or something? We can. We're gonna Google that in a bit because what I do want to do is watch one of Chuck Toast's videos. Um, RS7 driver. I'm gonna have to chat to you at uh, at some point. Uh, maybe we can catch up on Discord after the stream or something like that. Let me jump over here to my. Where is this CC free uh, music, my friend? Let's have a look. We're going to play this song and then chill out. Think of uh, how what a legend RS7 driver is. And um, yeah, I've. 
It's this. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling the love. You're sharing the love. We're going to uh, change some people's lives. Do that through FPV. Some other things. Is this music too loud as well? Uh, need to probably check that out. Let's play this video. Have a look here. Hanging out on the FPV mix. Is this are we going to take off soon here? This is from Chuck Toast as well. Cruising around. What country is this? It's called Careful With That Axe. R7 Driver says, Quick, end the stream so Captain Kirk doesn't shame. Don't hate me. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> that's it. That's the end of the stream there, boys. He goes, look at that. we got a little gate there. That would have been hard to see. i got to turn this music down just a tad for me. That might be a bit better. All right. Uh, Kiz Bartlett says, I'm feeling the love. You're feeling the love. Random is feeling my knee. <laughs> there we go, Kiz. Hey, mate, you got to calibrate your gyro. Or if you're flying around uh, on acro mode, please adjust those trims. So when you're doing a little stable hover, it's not drifting all over the place. Because it definitely looks like it's going one. It's till rolling to the right, from what I could tell. Teddy B saying, Stu, is, Stu, is Donny going to do an Xmas special with you? Split screen madness. Would you like that? Um, I'm not, I'm not, uh, we could get Donny definitely on here. It depends though. We've got to organize a time where all you guys can watch it. We can hang out. We do also have the Christmas stream coming up. Man, I feel like watching this. Where is the color in terms of, uh, it just looks brown. Like, um, winter. This has got to be overseas in the Northern Hemisphere somewhere. All the trees have lost their leaves. It looks like the snow might be coming in. Oh, we've got a nice little roll there looking at the, um, at the clouds just a little bit. Uh, yeah, we can definitely get Donnie in though. He's giving me some thumbs up as well. Celis is in the house saying Merry Xmas, boys. Oh, I know Celis too. I hope you got your glasses fixed there, my friend, because um, I think the last, when I was on Discord last, I heard that you broke your glasses, so which sucks to hear that. I hope you can uh, find some way to get them working. And maybe it's your kid's birthday. Is that right? Uh, sell us if it is happy birthday um from from memory anyway i think i just came in on the end of that conversation when you guys were chatting on discord i was getting ready uh helping my family with dinner and that sort of stuff let's push pause on this let's give chuck toast a, a thumbs up jumping back in here on the fpv mix we've got 69 people watching we've been streaming 70 people watching streaming for 30 minutes with 56 thumbs up go ahead and give it a thumbs up a thumbs down whatever you would like to do let's hang out have some fun on the fpv mix we've got some giveaways coming up as always well, Seller says he's a one-eyed pirate. Ah, it's Jacob's birthday. So, g'day, Jacob. Happy birthday, my friend. I hope you have a fantastic day. Why? Because you deserve it. And your dad is awesome. A kind individual who also, i got to tell you, has some serious editing skills. Makes some amazing videos. Um... Lars, as well, is saying, Hey, Stu, I'm thinking of getting an Armiton rooster frame for my next build because of the durability. However, I'm us I usually race instead of doing freestyle. Would you still recommend that I get it? Lars, would I recommend you get a freestyle drone if you're just going to be doing racing? No. Don't get a freestyle drone just because of racing. There is... It's it's pointless. You'd be better off getting anything else, basically, that is slightly race sort of. The only reason that you're going to be getting an Armiton Rooster is, well, first you have to, the warranty, right? The warranty is amazing. It's fantastic. Uh, but you're going to be putting yourself at a disadvantage if you're using a Rooster for racing. That's not what it is about. The warranty, though, means it's five bucks. You get a replacement. It is an awesome, awesome frame. And it's really made for freestyle. Like, uh, if you are more concerned with getting a good racer and you want to spend some money, um, the Catalyst Machine Works, they make some really good and very robust frames as well. They are cut beautifully. The carbon they use is very, very nice. Um, I would say, yeah, it's uh, go Catalyst Machine Works. If you want a premium racer, Catalyst Machine Works. If you want a premium freestyler, go with... Um, Go with Armiton. I'm sure other people have some opinions on that. That's just what I think. Scrotary McBoogerball says, Do you think the Attitude V6 will be the last analog goggle? Uh, maybe from Fat Shark. But we'll have to see. Um, let's have a look at this. I think Bardwell did a video or something like this. Attitude V6. Which is, um, let's see. My goodness. 550 Aussie dollars. 
Someone help me, please. Who is buying this? Who is buying this for this price? I don't know. Whoo! It's not OLED. 39. Okay, look, the field of view is fine. Yeah. What's that? Can someone tell me what that is in? That's that's Aussie dollars. What's 549? What's that? 400? What's 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 549? Someone please tell me in the chat. They're 300 USD. Oh, okay. Well, that's a huge markup. Thank you very much, Australia Marketplace. Um, look, I don't know. I feel like Skyzone maybe would be a company that say, hey, we've just upped down our uh, O2Xs. Maybe they could make some. I don't know. What, what would you call them? The, uh, the O2. O, here's O2 Alphas. That, that, there's a good little name. Um, but <laughs> I don't know. Um, look, are they going to be the last analog goggle? No. People still like to fly micro. Still people, you know, they might find some new features and these can probably take some of those digital modules as well. I'm hoping. Man, you'd hope so, Fat Shark did that. I don't know. Um, am I probably going to be getting a pair for review? Probably not, unless Bangers sends some over. I know Fat Shark won't be sending me anything um, anytime soon. Uh, but you'll probably see them an awful lot on Rotorite because Rotorite is owned by the same company who owns Fat Shark. So they're probably going to be uh, pushing those and wanting you to purchase those and those sorts of things. I don't know. Um, RS7 driver says about $50 cheaper than the Attitude V5s, but they don't use OLEDs. Um, and uh, Sicker Life 90 says that 549 is 349 uh, US dollars. So uh, you're paying a bit of a mark up here at next FBV. Um, and Chuck Toast says it's called F. It's called FPV because we don't like cheap s FPV. I don't get it, but. Instead of FPV, all right, I've read that out uh, funny. Thank you very much there, because we don't like uh, cheap sound equipment. The Sky Zones are still better. That's from Postman Drones as well. And Teddy B says, the Attitude V6s, it's not a 10. It's uh, it's a muck up for that price. Go DJI. Yeah, I think, look, if you're going to be spending 300 bucks, that's about the limit. You know, you, you don't want to spend much more than that to have to go and buy. Uh, then you might as well just get some DJI goggles. And who knows, DJI might come down in price. We've spoken about the DJI V2s and that sort of stuff that might be coming out around January. Um, well, that's some rumors anyway. Please don't quote me on that. Say, hey, Stu said this. Uh, also, you can get the Skyzone O2Xs or O2Cs. I think there's been some prices for like 260 60 270 which is ridiculous compared to how much these says bardwell said the skies on o3o's are a better choice over the attitude v6s yeah but that's not a fair choice the o3o's um they're uh they're they're far more expensive i think you the a comparison would be the o2c's versus these that's that's really where it should be at um some people want don't uh, Madman Grumpy says some people don't want FBV to be their whole life and not, cannot spend that kind of cash. Are you talking about DJI there? Um, there, Mad Grumpy Man, talking about FPV? Yeah, well, all I'm saying is if you're going to be buying these, that these, I should say, if you're going to be buying these, you're already dropping a ton of money. You might as well save up. If you don't want FPV to be your whole life, this is a poor choice, I think, based on the price for performance, for what you're getting. There's cheaper options out there which are probably going to serve you better, or there's more expensive options out there which you're going to get a lot more from for a bit more extra cash. That's all I'm saying. However, if you have... I've, sometimes people get salty if they already own the products that I'm talking about. If you have this, if anybody out there has the Attitude V6s and you are enjoying them and you like them and you are enjoying the hobby and enjoying the skies... That's the main part, man. That's what that's what it's all about. Who cares what I say? If you're out there enjoying some products and enjoying the skies and having fun with this hobby, that is the thing we should all be happy about. So congratulations. I wish you the best of luck with the Attitude V6. With the Attitude V6. <laughs> that one really got me. Woo! Okay. You're lucky I got some brown underwear on today. Uh, that was from J Bam FPV says, G'day, Stu, show us your guns. <laughs> That's not happening. That is not happening. 
And JFPV as well sent him through a super chat saying, smash the like button, JFP has arrived. G'day! Welcome to the FPV Mix, um, the greatest live stream on the internet. It is a bit of a uh, wild show today, actually, for you 70 people who are watching. We've got 64 thumbs up. We have a goal of 150 likes. We've already smashed our donation goal, helping somebody out for Christmas, helping a family there. So uh, thank you very much, and especially to RS7 Driver, you absolute Santa Claus madman. Um, uh, Mc Me Drone saying, I agree with Stu, the 80 Attitude V6 is lost in the middle. A day T is out, and bam, FPV saying, yeah. And Adrian is asking, what's the best antenna that you know of? Because I need some. Lucky you are in luck, my friend. If you go to the fifth equal best uh, drone website in all of uh, the bottom half of Australia. Um, well, <laughs> which of course is uavfutures.com and you're worrying about, hey, what antenna What antenna should I get? Look at this awesome article we've got right here. Which antenna for FPV? So we go in here, it tells you what antennas to get. Let's copy and paste this in right here as well. Which antenna for FPV, and you can have a look right here. We've got uh, some Omway antennas, which are some oldies with some goodies. We've got the real ACC triple feed patch. Um, just go and read through all this, and I'll tell you exactly what antenna is for what. And also, you can see just how well these triple feed patches go. There's a video there with me and Trev, and I think it's like 12 bucks or something like that. So go check that out. Read, yeah, have a bit of a read. It'll help you out. And buying antennas is one of the best and cheapest way. It is probably the most dollar for dollar best way to improve your FPV experience where um, it's so cheap for the performance gains that you can get. Uh, Stu will show guns at 150 like, I don't know, no, that's that's way too, I'm not going to be here doing that. I've got the, the dad bod going on. You know, I've done years of training of, you know, just turning the TV on, doing the dishes, cooking dinner, pushing the pram, you know, all that sort of stuff that dads do. Uh, Day T says, I'm a team without a ton of money and I finally want to get into FPV. Are there any goggles under $200 that you would recommend? If, like 200 bucks, right, you could probably, if you could probably have a Google, um, look, um, if you could put something, here you go, here's what you could do in this bit buying used gear for sale so see right here if i go to screen share this bit buying used gear you could put something in here that said hey i'd like to buy like i see jay's looking for a crossfire module but you could say hey i would like to buy some secondhand goggles does anybody have some out there um you could put basically put an ad listing there you could have it keep an eye out in used drones for sale as well but Buying secondhand for 200 bucks, you could probably get some Sky Zones or something. A lot of people have moved on to digital, and you might be able to buy something. Even you might be able to find some cheap Omways. Omways used to be cheaper than that, um, but I don't think they make the Omway V1Ss anymore. Um, or if you have to buy brand new, there's no real goggle that's at the $200 price point. I am sorry. I would probably go something like the Hawk Eye Little Pilot VR Nun goggles, which is such a mouthful. But um, yeah, go. You could getting all, all sorts of noises um all sorts of noises right here but you could go check those out and uh yeah basically i'm getting distracted um they're they're a decent goggle they're a decent goggle that the trevor and i got as a joke they don't look cool and you know we, we talk about them all the time this is them this is them here if we go to screen share these goggles right here like look how silly you're going to look in the park but I didn't get eye strain. They had amazing reception. Uh, they don't do DVR, but look, if I had to choose, if I wasn't flying around with my more expensive goggles, this would be the cheap pair that I'd fly around with. So that, if that means anything to you, if my opinion means something to you, this that would be the pair of goggles that I would choose to go out and fly with if I didn't have sky zones. And then if I didn't have sky zones, uh, you've also got the DJI option. All right. Let's see, um, Wobsy says, hey Stu, hope you have a great day, I just woke up to the stream, welcome to the stream my friend, uh, the third best stream on the internet, Ruben is saying, I must have been watching a lot of your older YouTube videos, 
this quarantine added a few pounds to the camera. Just joking. I oh, jerk there, Ruben. Is this the same Ruben who uh, makes him awesome um, in... What should I say? In not Outback Victoria, but making some cool videos. Is that the same Ruben right there? RS7 Driver says, I bought both of those, and they are great. Um, are you talking about the antennas there, RS7 Driver? And JFBV saying, I love... I love, I have those antennas, Stu. Uh, Stu wouldn't lie to you, so there we go. Oh, okay, you guys are talking about that. Scrody McBoogery saying, sun's out, guns out. JFBV saying, do the truffle shuffle at 150. I don't even know what that is there, J.FBV. And Brumby saying, I'm looking to get the Radio Master TX16S to find planes and quads. What are some of the bad things about it? Like, does it have range issues with the multi-protocol module? Bad things about my Radio Master TX... TX16S. Well, I guess if you're going to go long range, uh, I would put a crossfire in there. I have not had many, I haven't had any noticeable fail safes or anything like that. It's felt fairly standard in all my, um, all my range tests. Um, I have only really been using it on the uh, D16 and D8 mode, so I don't know about the other uh, parts there, Brumby. Um, he says he's going to put Tracer in the back. I should have gone another route with Crossfire. I'm just going to fly around the park and possibly fly around mountains and cool places. Mate, you should go Crossfire. Don't go Tracer. Tracer is only new. It's And I mean that in like the, the hype around Tracer is just because it's a new exciting product. But it doesn't mean that it doesn't perform better than Crossfire. It just performs different. I think if you're just going to be going around the park and a bit of mountains and cool places... Go crossfire, please. You get better range, better penetration. It's just, um, there you go, kids. It's just all around what most people are going to be using. If you are hardcore into racing, and when I say hardcore, I mean like if you are placing on the podiums, you're pushing to get some prize money. You're turning up week in, week out. You're tracking your stats online. You're timing your gates. You're going out doing race practice. It's not just a casual fun thing. If you are spending a lot of money on your race rigs, then, okay, have a look at Tracer, but I think that most people would be better served with the with Crossfire. That's just just my opinion, anyway. And I think Tracky, Trappy would probably say say the same thing. Uh, JPV says I it I always say I got on ways. I always say it. I got on way V1s for a hundred bucks. So how did you do that, JFPV? Um, and Kiz Bartlett says the Sky Zone O2Cs top quality if you can get them used. And Adrian is saying I should make a budget build as well. And Motoref uh, sending through his donation, which uh, I need to read out. It says, hi, Stu. Sorry I'm late. What did I miss? Oh, lol. How are you, man? Uh, I am doing great, my friend Motoref. Uh, I always feel better talking to you guys. Welcome to the FB Mix. The stream, that helps me out as much as, uh, and I hope you guys enjoy it as much as I do. So I want you to sit back, relax, Motoref. Uh, thank you for writing back to my email that I sent you as well. We've got to get uh, that underway. And Adrian saying, I know I have watched literally all of them. Um... And Darol says, if we aren't going to show you your guns, can we see uh, Nerf guns? I don't own any Nerf guns, actually, there. Um, my friend, Australia's a bit of a weird place. So maybe if uh, my kids were a little bit older, we'd get them some Nerf guns. They could play around and that sort of stuff. Uh, Richard says, Tracer responds to faster inputs with low latency. Range is nowhere near crossfire. Yeah, so there you go. If you're a racer, get Tracer. If you're, uh, we need something that runs long range. If you're into long range, get Crossfire, but that doesn't sound... We need some racer can get Tracer. What can get Crossfire? What runs with Crossfire that is also uh, pushes us towards uh, long range there? Someone can come up with that in the chat. Anyway, let's have a look here, see if we're getting any closer. 87 people watching streaming for 46 minutes, 70 thumbs up. Come on, you slackers. Uh, thumbs up, thumbs down. Uh, let's say... What we need to do a little poll if uh, we should if we should have less old jokes about Russ. Give me a thumbs down if you'd like us to keep doing or what we're doing. Give us a thumbs up. Let's see what happens. We're at seventy thumbs up, two thumbs down. And Chuck FBV saying, "Is it just me or you're sounding a bit croaky today?" You know what? You're right. I feel like my voice. Uh, hello. Ain't got enough in your love, but. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's been a bit croaky for like a week or something, so I don't know what is um, what is up with that. I'm trying to be getting a bit better sleep, I'm not too sure. Uh, Kiss Bartlett says, if you want the range to be higher, go Crossfire. Uh, if you're a far flyer, get Crossfire. There you go. That's it. 
Get Tracer if you're a racer, but if you're a far flyer, get Crossfire. There we go. Well, I'm going to steal that up from you. You are the futures quote of 2020. Uh, well, uh, my second quote. What was the other one? Uh, don't make don't make content. Just make memories when you're going out there and going to doing doing some flying. And the day T says, I don't have too much cash to spare, but really want to get into freestyle FPV. Are there <laughs> are there any goggles under two hundred dollars that you would recommend? Oh. Uh, but here, here, we just answered this 10 minutes ago. Short answer, buy some used used analog goggles like on my Sky Zones Fat Sharks. If you can't get that, get the Hawkeye Nun goggles. Both of those, if you scroll back through the stream about 10 minutes ago, you'll see what we're talking about. JFPV saying auto scan, don't even get me started. And Chucka says, have you got back from... Hey, you just got back from Sydney, northern suburbs. I think that's where Ben lives as well, Chucka FPV. And... Uh, thank Quad for FPV that's coming in from Random as well. And Teddy B, where is Grumpy Bugger Trev? Call him Stu uh, on the stream. Trevor, if you are here, Trazoop Zip, Trazoop Zip. Uh, if you could pick up the phone there, Trevor, maybe you'll jump into Discord um, at some point. You never know what that Grumpy Bugger um, is going to be doing. I can see Gunner in there as well. We're going to watch one of your videos. I would love to see some more of your videos as well. If you've got a video you would like to share, Put it in share your vids, which is right here. I'm even going to post an invite copy. Let's have a look right here and post it right there. So somebody, if you would like to share your vids, put it in there. We've got Chuck Toast's one as well. Um, someone's posting a netbook, a laptop there for some reason. Lazy Day FPV. Looks like he's got a Thanksgiving rip. Um... All right, so uh, let's let's check that out. Let's get that organized. And Trevor's going to drop the f bomb. Yeah, he kind of he does do that. Last time I got him on, he was dropping those. So block your ears if uh, Trev comes on here, my friend. I've got to choose some music. Uh, let's see. How's how's which which one we're going to have? You know what? Let's log in and pick some random music from the website. Epidemic sound. Let's log in here. Hey everyone, here's my here's my details. Let's let's see, let's see. Um So I've no idea. How, oh, can I turn the sound down? Here we go. I don't know what this is going to sound like. I just picked clicked on one of the first things here. <laughs> All right, cruising around. Thanksgiving Day a rip at sunset. Is that volume too loud? Please let me know too if I need to uh, mix the audio just a little bit. Seems a little bit loud in my ears, but uh, let me know. And we can change it. Bad Men is saying, good day, Stu. It's just able to tune in now. How is it? I think we might be a little bit loud. That's just saying it's good. Chris Mel says it's good. Uh, it's fine here. Okay. Oh, maybe my volume is like completely maxed. That's probably what it is in my headphones. All right, audio mix is super duper. Man, we've got some nice little tricks here. Can't wait to see some other flights as well. Having my morning coffee in, uh, well, one of my favorite coffee cups. It's a bit old right now. I forgot to put it in the sausage cup. Sorry about that. I'll tell my wife, tell my wife off when I go inside. Hey, what happened? Why is the coffee in this cup? What a rip coming in from Patrick as well. And uh, Motor Ref thought the soccer nets had some um, nets in them. I do really like this little backflip kind of thing that he's doing. Uh, I don't know what you would call that. Like a traveling backwards a little bit with a uh, slow sort of yaw spin through it as well. I'm trying to think of what country this looks like it's in. It's got to be, uh, well, Thanksgiving. I guess that kind of narrows it down just a little bit. I'm getting dizzy watching this. Um, nice moves. Uh, hey, hey, sliding in late. That's from Mr. Indy Jones, CJ. I like it, man. I like it. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, needs a power loop. That's from me, drones, and game of drones as well. Saying flying sausage is this is the way. Is there any other way, uh, my friends? You got to look out for those flying sausages at the park. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, very cool stuff. All right. Doesn't anyone think right? Does this not look like Mr. Steel to you, this dude right here? Anyway, maybe he's uh, doing some sort of cameo right there or something. But uh, let's press pause on this. That was a fun way to do the sound. Jumping back in here. Uh, Ruben is saying, Stu, if you're not already, uh, you need to get on zinc and some vitamin C and D. Zinc kills the reproductive part of any virus. All right, we're getting some immune immune response uh, right there. I don't think, I think I just got a bit of a croaky throat for some some uh, late nights, uh, my friend. We haven't really had many contact with many people. Plus there, for those of you wondering, there is no viruses, uh, no, uh, can we say the word? No pandemic viruses that are causing trouble around the world in uh, my state, which is great. There is no community transmission that over the last 40 days. It's kind of eliminated from here, uh, from what I've last heard anyway. Maybe some things have changed in the last day or two, but yeah, I think we're pretty safe um, where we are. Uh, Donnie's given me some uh, thumbs up symbols, and Moonrunner says, what are TX and RX pads on the Mobile 7 board used for? I don't know, is anything connected to them? Maybe if they're there, maybe you can connect some receivers. If they're, if, what are they, what are they used for? TX and RX pads are used, they're like your UARTs, mate. You can, you know, you can hook up Crossfire to them, GPSs to them. Um, basically anything that you want to talk to the flight controller is what you hook up to those. Uh, Scrotery is saying, lucky, um... Patrick is saying Vic is killing it, but New South Wales have dropped the ball again. Uh, I don't want to, we're not going to get too political because I know people get very irate about how people handled the lockdown, what should be done, what shouldn't be done. Uh, was it a good thing? Was it a bad thing? I'm just going to say one of the positives of the way that ours was done is that, you know, and there was many negatives that went with it, is that, yeah, that is one good thing now is the virus doesn't seem to be in Victoria. So anyway, we're going to, we're going to move on. Adrian is saying, do you have any clothing merch? Uh, I actually, you know what? I, I do. There is some clothing, some UAV futures things. If you go to, let's have a look. Does this website even still exist? Here we go. FPV swag. Uh, we've got some exclusive hoodies. Here you go. And, uh, this is where the big bucks are. This is where I'm going to retire, uh, with the kickbacks from this. I haven't spoken to this guy in about a year, actually. So I don't even know if he's ever sold any of these hoodies. But apparently, I get $3 if someone, um, buys one of these hoodies. But I don't know. I have no idea how many have been sold. Um, I haven't spoken to dude in a long time. But look, it's out there. If you really would like a hoodie, a UAV Futures one, um, yeah, there you go. That's that's uh, that's the hoodie, my friend. I'll post this link. This is at fpvswag.com. Uh, so there you go. Uh, Adrian says, I'm about to buy one. I know Donnie has two. Jimmy has one. Um, there's some others out there in the wild as well. But it's uh, it's a bit tricky to understand who's uh, who's got them. I don't know. I'll have to send the guy a message and say, hey, man, did we ever, did you ever sell many of those hoodies out there? <laughs> Because I, I would love to know if you've got one, please. Kiz Bartlett says, we need a t-shirt with Stu's face on it and saying it's a 10 written above it. Um, all right, we need some t- How about this? We could do- Should we launch some t-shirts? We could probably do that together with your ideas. Friends don't let friends order scan. Don't make content, just make memories. That's a 10. Um, hey, Grumpy Trev, come down here to the park and <laughs> let's- Let's uh, fly some sausages, all that sort of stuff. Um, thanks for the quad. Thank quad for FPV. Uh, we could have a whole bunch of stuff. So there we go. And uh, let's see. I had another question I wanted to answer as well before I got sidetracked here. Someone said, what was the giveaway today? Today's giveaway, our jackpot giveaway, which everybody can enter is... This bad boy right here, it is the Jumper T18. I don't even know what version this is. Look, this is the radio that came with mine. You might need to update the firmware. I have not touched this since I reviewed it. Um, it's in the box. Whatever's in there, That's. I better check that the radio's in there, right? It feels like it is. It's heavy enough that it's actually in there. Oh, you even get some stickers. There you go, you get some jumpy stickers. It's basically brand new, but I would probably update the firmware if you got this because it would have been an early, early firmware version. Um, 
Look at that. It's even got like lens protectors and everything. I haven't even peeled that plastic off there for you. So that is the jackpot giveaway. Hoping to make somebody's Christmas um, if you're watching this. And also for those people on the short list, thank you very much for your donations. It really does make a difference. And uh, yeah, this, thank you RS7 driver, especially today for, for basically uh, helping, helping out so much. We have uh, this bad boy. Uh, I used to have a couple of these. I really, really liked them. I built a whole bunch the same. It is the Avant Quad. Um, actually, you're going to need to put a little standoff screw in here. I just realized that. A little 4-inch ripper. Uh, it's got some blue carbon fiber, but um, probably perfect conversion. I'm just looking at this. You could put DJI in there. There is enough room to put a little Vista uh, in the top right there. and It'd probably make an awesome little... Uh, Vista Ripper, if, uh, for lack of a, a better term. Having a sip of coffee right here. And let's see, scrolling down. How do I enter the giveaway? That is from Adrian. There is a link in the description down below. You can uh, put your name in once. You are in the draw forever. You don't have to do it every single week. It's literally just name and an email. We draw a name out of the hat. And I've also got, um, I'm just putting some people's names down uh, on that short list there uh, for the event quad as well. And Jay saying, just found the UAV Futures Reddit. Why did I not know about this before? <laughs> this is going to be fun. <laughs> okay, I don't even, what is, is there a UAV Futures Reddit? Let's have a look here. Um, I know I've got my Reddit, my Reddit account. Uh, anyway, uh, let's have a look right here. Mr. Indy Jones, CJ as well, saying, Hey, Stu, just to recommend the UR UAV backpack. Happy holidays. You know what? First things first, what I am going to do, we've got uh, Grumpy Pooch right behind me. Oh, no, no F bombs here, Charlie. Hey, look, you get a nice view of my air conditioner that I installed the other day. There you go, that's a, that's a bit better. There you go, Charlie. That's from Mr. Indy Jones, CJ. Um, and jumping over to this one, uh, what I would like to do is we're going to ask Gunner. So, I don't know, if Gunner, if you're around in the chat, man, uh, Gunner, let's see, this is how good the UAV, we're going to put Gunner on the spot, maybe, and I'm going to ask Gunner about the U, uh, UAV backpack. And we'll find out what he thinks. Um, this is totally putting him on the spot. Gunner, check, Mike, check. You're live on the internet. Gunner, can you hear me? All right, hang on. Let me turn my volume down. <laughs> okay. Oh, look at this. Look at this with some service. We're going to get some first-hand experience of someone who I know uses the UR UAV backpack. I went flying with Gunner just a little while ago. Um, we did some We did some practicing, some uh, not coaching, but uh, it was fine just to offer my... Maybe, maybe if I ever transition uh, from from something that's not YouTube, would you guys come and be like, "Hey, come get some flying lessons with uh, Stu from UAV Futures"? Definitely, man. But what's going on, bro? Hey, hey, look, we just had a question from Mister Indy Jones, CJ. Uh, you use the UR UAV backpack, yeah? Yep. Do, would you Would you still recommend that? Definitely, yeah. It's great. Plenty of room inside. I can jam everything in there, and I think I've still got room for more stuff. Is there anything you don't like about it? Um, it's a bit annoying to set up at the start when you got to put the little compartments in with the Velcro, mm -hmm. but, um, other than that, not really. It's pretty good. I can't even remember the price of it. I should probably Google it online and find out how much. I think, it, I, think I paid 70 Aussie for it or something. I think I got it pretty cheap. Uh, that's probably, what's that, like 50 bucks? It's 51 bucks at Banggood if I have a look here. Uh, wait, that's Aussie. That's going to be even cheaper now. Wow, that is pretty cheap. Let's have a look here. How can I get that? USD, please. USD. It is coming in at, man, I actually do really recommend this for $38. Doing a bit of screen share here. Getting a backpack is one of the best things you can do, and it's, th yeah, $37.99. So for that price, you can't complain at all. So you, edit, yeah, you give it a thumbs up, Gunner. What would you rate it out of 10? I'd give it an 8 out of 10. There you go. There you go. So hopefully you enjoyed that, Mr. Indy Jones, CJ. How's that? Get look at that for service. Straight on the phone, instantaneous response of somebody who uses it uh, weekly as their flying bag. Jay FPV sent it through some love as well, saying just wanted to scare you. Didn't work there, Jay FPV. That noise only comes when it's uh, five dollars or more. That silly spooky noise because it was going off all the time when we first did it. But um, yeah, thanks very much, uh, there, Gunner. No worries, mate. You can even hide a sausage in there, too. <laughs> okay. 
I think we've got Ross in here as well, who's just probably hanging out watching the stream. You guys, you guys. Uh, hopefully you have an awesome time. Uh, take it easy, and I will talk to you guys probably after the stream. I'm going to jump in there and hang out. All right, thanks, mate. Have a good one, guys. All right, thank you very yeah. much. Catch you, Russell Postle. Thank you very much there, Gunner. Threw them under the bus a little bit, but there you go, uh, Mr. Indy Jones, CJ. Hopefully that helped. Um, and if you can get one for that cheap, a backpack is a great accessory that you don't think about when you first start FPV. Here's some tips, though. Do not buy... Okay, uh, this one, that one, that's from uh, Postman Drone saying, here's the little Jimmy uh for christmas thank you very much there postman drones um i don't that my heart rate is actually fairly low there resting up nicely there you go charlie that's from mr indy jones cj and jay saying damn that didn't work <laughs> no it didn't there but uh getting a backpack you know i recommend backpacks they are great they really change it's so much easier instead of i used to carry around like pelly uh <laughs> I'm going to finish talking here. I used to carry around like pelican cases and suitcases and all these stupid plastic bags and everything. You know what? Just get a backpack. However, if you are someone who's trying to save money and $38 is like, man, I, I actually don't even have a decent radio yet. You're much better off. Please upgrade your gear first and put your drones in a school bag. Go to the op shop. Go to the thrift shop and just buy it every day normal backpack sew some velcro straps on there or something you don't need to go out and buy a backpack it's not essential it's just it just is really really a great way to cart your gear around but a specific fpv one can be replicated easily you can do a diy one and convert a backpack that you can find at a cheap op shop don't feel like you have to buy new you're not going to be missing out that much the difference between a a bag you find at the two dollar shop or the the thrift shop versus an FPV one, isn't enough to justify the price if you don't have a decent radio or goggles or that sort of stuff first. And UAV Futures, it's all about giving you the right information to make informed decisions, to make the correct purchases so you can get the most out of the hobby, bang for buck. And this is something that kind of really grinds my gears, is when I see people talking about, you know, they should buy all these sorts of backpacks or buy these motors or buy these frames. And I'm thinking, man, if you added all that stuff up, that is like thousands of dollars that people can't afford like it might be fine if you're in a rich job and you're getting things sent to you for free it's very easy to say hey i fly this and this is what i recommend but man i i like to think of myself as just an everyday dude who just with an everyday job and if you looked at the average income and let's base it on america so the average income in america is that worth the price that you're going to pay and that's where i'm always after value 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 even though i can fly any single drone part that i want bar fat shark because they won't send me anything even though i can fly any single drone product that i want uh i still prefer to review value things why because i want you to be able to enjoy the skies without having to break the bank something i'm very very passionate about um anyway motor ref says this is how it's done jfpv sent it through a scary noise as well uh, John says, I learned a lot from your content. Thanks. It is absolutely my pleasure, my friend. Thank you for sending through uh, your donation. We're going to be doing a giveaway in just a little bit as well. John, you're on the shortlist, um, as well as those other people sent through some donations. That is for this event thing. I don't even remember its name. Um, and we're doing a giveaway coming up very soon. I don't even know how long we've been streaming for. What is the time here? Uh, jump on over to the FPV mix uh, streaming for we've been streaming for 65 minutes we've got 80 people watching 80 thumbs up let's see if we can get it up to 100 my friends uh, and we're gonna be I've also heard that the karma what goes around comes around and if you press the thumbs up button it is actually good luck uh, for winning the jackpot giveaway we had somebody win uh, finally thank you huge shout out to uh, 507 um, thank you for winning. This is the T18 Pro, actually, I just noticed here. So whether that's a, um, that must be a better version. How much is the Jumper T18 Pro? Let's have a look at that. Jay says, 100 likes. Uh, let's go. It's easy. Jumper T18 Pro. Let's find out the price. All right, here we go. This radio, this is what we're winning today. It is 190 US dollars ready to rock and roll. That's going to be uh, what you win today. So make sure you're watching. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Um, Madman says, the trunk of my Honda is my backpack. Uh, kind of like RS7's car as well. That's where he puts all his stuff. Uh, but nowhere worth hiking too far from flying where I am. 
And Double A says, you might be surprised even how many school backpacks have those cool straps on the outside that carry quads. That's right. Even skate skateboard backpacks. Um, and Jay saying, what? The Reddit has climbed to 20 members already. Big up, dudes. Oh, gosh. Gosh. Um, Scrody McLaughlin is saying, uh, which link is for the special donation? It is the Streamlabs link down below there, my friend, if you want to go check that out. Uh, you, you can do that. Um, uh, having to stretch that. There's, there's the guns. There's the guns for you boys. We're an RS7 special shirt today. I even said to the wife, hey, have you seen that green t-shirt? She came, here it is. <laughs> uh, what backpack am I using? That is from Teddy B. And let me tell you, this is my backpack. And I got so much flack for this, right? This is where people are like, oh, you're just saying that. You're never going to use that. Blah, blah, blah -de blah Check this out. This bad boy for $57 right here. This was the bag that I used for the longest time. And people said, oh, it's going to break. Blah, 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 blah. It's too cheap. It can't be good. Blah. Pig's foot, as my grade two teacher used to say. Um, this right here, it's an awesome backpack. I used it for the longest time. Uh, it was really well until I got a review sample of the Race Day Quads backpack. Um, and the Race Day Quads backpack is just a little bit better. I think it's nicer, but it's also more expensive. I think it's like $80 or $85 or something like that. So, you know, use use whichever. This actually feels like it fits a little bit more. Real ACC bag, there's a review. Go watch it. I've used it for a long time. Like, I mean two, three years, which is like, there's a lot of backpack trips in there and there has been nothing wrong with it. So I really, really like this bag. Um, can't recommend it enough. You go through and just, if you would like to see how many times I've used this backpack, go through, watch my videos and you'll always see it in the background until I got my race day quads one, which is just the one that I'm currently using. It feels like it's, uh, actually, and I don't even know if the race day quads one suits my needs a little bit more. It's, I've just got to, this one was probably better when I held more stuff, um, like DJI and uh, another radio. Sometimes I've got to take out like uh, first world reveal problems, right? Like multiple radios, multiple goggles, digital and analog, blah, 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 blah. Uh, this one held a bit more. I think I like the Race Day Quads one more because it's a bit more streamlined. It's not too big. It's not too small. That's what she said. The sausage is just the right size. Um, but yeah, the Race Day Quads one's probably going to suit more people, but it is more expensive. Test Pilot Tim as well. Coming in hot from New Zealand. Um, and, you know, maybe could you catch up with Bruce Simpson there? Welcome back to the Not So Weekly Weekly News with Bruce Simpson. Uh, but thank you very much, Test Pilot Tim. We're going to give Charlie A a little snack as well. And let's see, Motor Ref, let's give this to Charlie, says, Hey Stu, uh, would you compare the jackpot giveaway? Uh, how would you compare the jackpot giveaway radio compared to the Radio Master TX16S? And Johnny DRC says, Hi Stu, okay, how about a treat for Charlie? There you go, Charlie. That's from Johnny DRC. Your name's on the list, Johnny DRC. I'm wishing, crossing my fingers for you this week there, uh, my friend, for the giveaway prize as well. Uh, Motor Ref, I would say I actually prefer the T16 to this one because the internal, I'm never going to, apparently this was meant to be long range compatible with like the 900 megahertz stuff. I don't even know if they ever fixed that or got that working, and that's the antenna that they used. And the internal 2.4 antenna, uh, well, it was like a board camera or PCB antenna or whatever it's going to be, um, which is not going to perform as well as a traditional dipole sort of antenna. So I never had any range issues with it. I just didn't like it as much because of those. I prefer the T16. So if I had to choose T16, this is a, um, it was a bit of a, not let down, but I didn't think it was worth the price difference. That's that's probably the way that I should do it. However, mate, if you're getting it for free, that's uh, you get, you're going to be happy with that one. So congratulations to those people um, and good luck as well. So hopefully we can get a winner of that today. Uh, Carrie Kirk is saying, what's the best FPV starter kit? The Beta FPV, Emacs or Esheen? Hmm. Let's have a look. I am going to say... The best, uh, this, this is, each one of these has some pros and cons. So there is no best, there are just, 
Each one of those is better or best at one thing over the other. So if I had to choose, it would be the Beta FBV kit. However, you can get some quality control issues. I've heard that Beta FPV people have had not the greatest experiences with them. If you can get a Beta FPV package that works well out of the box, you're gonna have the best experience. If uh, something I think about Emacs, I don't think they have the, I don't like their goggles, I don't like their radio. However, their quality control is very high. And the drone, I really like the Tiny Hawk drone. I think they have the best drone of the kits. That's fantastic, so I would choose that. But I don't like their radio versus the other one. And the Esheen ones, they I think the drone is very performance based. Uh, it depends which version that you get, uh, but the radio and the goggles are very, very cheap on the base version of the Emacs. So if you can spend a little bit more, um, the Emacs one that comes with like some EV800Ds and a decent radio, I think it's like a Range X copy, go for it. Uh, if you want something in the middle, go for the beta kit, but be prepared that I have seen some people, I haven't had bad experiences with them, but I've seen some people saying they didn't have good time um, online with uh, beta and their products. And if you want just reliability, something that's gonna work, but it's just kind of in the middle in performance, uh, that's where you're gonna go Emacs. So each one of those, weigh up what is more important to you. Um, Adrian is saying, yo, come on, Lord, let's make it to 100 likes uh, so that he could make some sausage merch. And uh, hardly famous FPV is uh, giving me a, a little wave as well. And Sleepy Chin saying, I just received the Adam RC135 Pro in the mail today. Can't wait to take it for a spin. You are going to absolutely love it. And Lee Kitchen, has Trev bought his DJI FPV yet? No, every single time we go for a fly, he goes, oh, i got to get one of these. But uh, I think it is still just a price thing. Like, it is relatively expensive. It's not for everybody. And if you have a lot of analog quads already, it makes the switch even harder. I'm going to have a sip of my soda stream right here. Scott is saying, trying to donate but can't get it to take my money. <laughs> okay. Oh, no problem there. Uh, my friend, uh, let's jump over here, have a look at the FPV, uh, the double mix. We've been streaming for 74 minutes, 86 people watching the greatest live stream on the internet. 101 likes, we did it. Uh, there, my friends, I think we're going to watch one more of your videos. Play, where's my mouse cursor gone? And let's have a look right here. Blub says the Nazgul first flight at the river. Let's press play. Let's find out what we're going to be watching. Make sure the sound is off. And it's given me some, I don't even know what location this is at. Uh, CH453PZ. That's where it says it's located at. But who knows what that means. Oh, and plus we get to pick our music. Let's have a look here. Um... Chasing electro music. Let's find out how that goes. Here we go. This is from Blizzblub FPV. Check out this location, wherever that is. Let's see if you can pick this country. China? I don't know. Maybe I'm just saying that because the music's like sounding slightly oriental. Is that a beach? What is this place? Um, Scott uh, sent through Scott McLaughlin, laugh, 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 Lynn. Yeah, uh, saying happy holidays. Uh, thank you for using that donation link there, Scott. We'll give Charlie a little snack as well. We're just watching this person's first flight of the Nazgul. He's got the thumbs up. Look at him, he's upgraded Jumper T16. He's gone from Emacs to Sky Zone goggles and from a Tyro to a Nazgul. He is set. Jumper, Sky Zone, Nazgul. That is like my recommended choice, actually, of quads that you should fly. Very, very cool stuff. Although I would recommend put some gates out or something. All right, don't go over the cars, please. Um, Game of Drones saying, just buy Radio Master TX16S and uh, Sim. Uh, Brumby is saying it's in Mongolia, is it? Okay. Um, uh, and it's BLZ Bub, as in 
the devil. I don't know what BLZ Bob is. Does that mean? I didn't know that meant the devil. Um, but he's here in the chat, so there we go. And uh, he's saying. Uh, and all your recommendations to me. Um, not too sure what he meant by there. But look, man, keep flying. It's great to see you've upgraded your gear. Chuck at FPV saying I better start Xmas shopping for the fam this weekend. Yeah, me too, me too. I don't know what um, what to get. Also, what to get my mum. I know kids asked for me, but uh, you're going to have to see what, what I can get mother dearest. And also the hardest one to shop for is the wife as well, guys. Tell me if you've got some ideas of what to get the wife for Christmas, please. Let me know, um, but <laughs> let's have a look right here. Brumby saying, and I'm not, uh, it's not, I'm just kidding. Okay, let's find out what location was this if I click just here. Uh, results not found. Mm, great, CH453PZ. There we go. Who knows what that was. That ended perfectly in time with the music. Uh, Aramy says, I'm getting the iFlight Nazgul V2 for Christmas. I'm so excited. Are you getting the V2? Uh, are you getting the DJI version or the standard version? And Drew Gramer says, I don't want any more drone stuff unless it doesn't cost me or anyone else anything. He must already have a lot. Uh, there, Drew. And Hardly's famous FPV says, shipping is at a standstill in the States. Yeah, that's... Uh, Hopefully that gets resolved soon. And Adrian says you should get her some Uggs. I already, we already have Ugg boots here. My friend and Colin is saying I bought the skies on O2Xs for my twenty second for my birthday on the twenty second. Yeah, they're they're a great goggle. There is a reason. I have all the goggles, right? I got I got them all. I got all the goggles, but I still use the skies on O2Xs. Uh, I've got the candy red version. I just they're just awesome. All right. Let's see, what is happening? Uh, Austin Powers says, don't get your wife a home appliance. It would be end of UAV futures. Yeah, it'll probably be UAV um, frying pan to the face if that if that happens uh, right here. But clicking over here, we've been streaming for 79 minutes. We've got 94 people watching. We are doing a, a giveaway in just a, a little bit. That's going to be for the Jumper T18 Pro. Uh, this is the one that I reviewed. The link is in the description as well if you would like to go check that out. Um, please, all you need, your name and an email. We're going to draw a name from the list in just a little bit. And Kevin Smith says, good luck with that present for the wife. Uh, and Madman says, great, great endorsement for Skyzone, but fit is so important. And what I also like about them is that Skyzone offers you two plates, two face plates. So the first company to do that, I don't know if any others are doing that, but you've got your uh, big fat face like mine, or uh, maybe if your face is a little bit more uh, narrow, or, you know, just like not such a beach ball. <laughs> well, it, it's going to fit you a bit better. Jay's saying, continue to smash the like button, guys, and good luck to everyone. Drew saying, just a tiny hawk, just a tiny hawk and a beta. 95x v2 so some cool uh cool little uh, rippers are right there but i'd like to know too who is going to be going flying this weekend tomorrow we should have a cool show with our daily dose of uh, donny as well adjusting this microphone and bad man is saying got your email today and i'm super excited to get it and have a rip uh, i'm leaving for my trip next week get the wife a circuit maker uh so she can make you stickers um I don't know what a, a, a cry, oh, sorry, a cry cut maker, so she can make your stickers, all right. Um, I don't even know what that is. Perhaps that could be a little bit of a Google. I have some, I have some ideas. And Chaos is saying, speaking of the wife, when are we going to get to meet Mrs. UAV Futures? <laughs> I don't know, I don't know. Um, I guess uh, one day, one day, we have done some, I guess, flight videos, like some, uh, what do you call it, some sim videos, um, but we never really followed that up and finished. I was kind of going to watch her practicing on here and track her progress. I think we've got a couple of flights in, and then, well, little kids and family life gets in the way. Uh, and Colin is saying he got about nine inches of snow today, so uh, there'll be no no flying for him. Maybe I wonder if Russ got any snow as well. And Jay says no flying for the uh, Dubs crew. Uh, Dubs Vegas, it's raining buckets right now. And Random says present for the wife. Look for a channel on YouTube called The Lonely Island Present. Best Christmas idea ever. 
and it's too cold to fly. I don't want my TPU to get wrecked or lose a cord when he flies in the snow. From Fitz Flights as well. Fitz, have you sent the... You gotta keep them generated. Have we worked on that yet, Fitz? That's your one goal there, my friend. We're gonna keep hassling you till you do it. Um, Adrian is asking, do I have a vlog channel? And no, I do not. I, uh, I think I did some UAV Futures vlogs about four years ago. Let's have a look here. Uh, this is the first ever vlog that I did and I lost all my footage. So um, this is probably, I think we've shown this on the stream before. However, I did like, uh, what are these ads? Let's have a look here. Yeah, one time, one point in time, I did try to actually do some some little vlogs right here. I think this is pretty much the ocean that wants to murder you. Um, are the sea be angry that day? And I think we can even see Charlie in some of these. Let's have a look here. Oh, there's Mrs. UAV Futures. This is life before kids, hey? I think a lot of people, they, there's big warnings like, don't swim at this beach, you will die. Is there music? Oh, some nice piano music. All right, anyway, enough of that. Blah, 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 blah. Where's Charlie? Charlie. Here he is. The best part of the vlog coming up right here. It's got nothing to do with drones. <laughs> Look how young he looks. <laughs> Oh, stupid dog. There you go. Wait, what did you guys say about me? There we go. Chasing Charlie. Oh, here's another little... Look at these. We're using some old school. They're Dominator V3s. See, I don't hate Fat Shark. Did use them for quite a while. Using an old school Tyrannus. I can't tell what that drone is. I don't even... I didn't even have a GoPro at the time of making some of these. This is, I think, like a bit of a... If anyone's watching this, this isn't me flying. And this is not a state forest. Um... I don't know, it was just uh, a cool cool little place to go fly around. But yeah, I did do some vlogs back in 2016, so four years ago right there. A very, very long time. Um, let's see, am I going to review the Happy Model Crux 3? Is that the really light thing? That's from Amiri. Let's have a look here. And then I think it might be time for a giveaway for you guys, so fingers crossed. Crux 3. No, probably not. I don't know. Maybe. It's not getting me terribly excited. It looks like this thing right here. It looks okay. I, I don't have one of these Insta360 Go's, right? Which is what... Is it made for that? It's got some little zip ties on the top. How much does it weigh? 41 grams. It just looks like another drone to me. So prob probably not going to do that one. Bad Men is saying, put a link in the chat. I'll check it out. What what you mean for um, for what one there, Bad Menace? All I typed in, if that is my vlog, uh, it's just UAV Futures Vlog 0001. Um, and I, thank you very much for Gaming Willington for actually asking me something. What do I think the best quad of all time is? So thank you for putting that little descriptor there in there, right? So something that I can actually answer rather than saying, hey, what is the best quad? Best for what? Like, I don't understand what you're asking. Please clarify. But thank you for that clarification there, Gaming. Gaming W. Uh, best quad of all time. This is tricky. This really is tricky. I really like... I really enjoyed flying... My Catalyst Machine Works Merica. I think the performance I got out of that quad, how it felt in the air, how it handled, even with a GoPro on there, just a, a baller quad that I really, really liked. Um, yeah, prob probably that. that that'd, be, that'd be my choice. I'm going to say the, the Merica. Was my, probably my favorite ever drone. Um, and Zoran is saying, how about the best quad of its time? Which was the most revolutionary when it released? You know what? There's, there's a lot to be said for quads. I think I even did a video of drones that made the biggest impact, right? Um, I'm going to throw some of my own in there. Like, I think the UAV Futures $99 build wasn't revolutionary in what it did, but the amount of people and the impact that it had on the hobby and got people in and flying and enjoying it and then upgraded and went further and stayed with us. That was, that was, that was big for the hobby. But I do think, too, the... 
you got to give some props to the Ishin, the original Ishin wizard for how cheap that thing was. It was $127 from memory. And it came with Heli S, ESCs, an F3 flight controller. Yeah, there were some quality control issues, but for its time, you're looking at a drone that came out. This is probably in 2016 as well. Maybe even 2015. You're looking at a drone that came out with like a price difference of, tw it cost about 25% of what other binder flies. Other binder flies used to be like four, $500, and here was a $130 thing that was still fun to fly. So I don't know. Chuck is saying he started with a Withered HV and couldn't have been happier. I didn't actually like that one, but I'm glad. I'm so happy for you that that worked out well for you. And Postman Drone says, what's the best drone to carry a sausage? Um, I don't know, maybe like the Butcher Drone or something like that. Uh, but uh, let's have a look here because, jumping over here, where is... I've lost my stream. Um, here we go. We've been streaming for 88 minutes. We're... This ad that I just watched, an Oakley ad. Can I, I wish I could go back here. I swear this Oakley ad, right? It was showing some FPV footage just before. Like I usually try to skip the ads on YouTube. Is that, is that, is it me? Or is this, is this sunglasses ad using some FPV quads? All right. Anyway, anyway, uh, jumping over here, back to my face cam. We got 88 minutes of streaming, 103 people watching, 111 a thumbs up. Let's do it. Let's do a giveaway. You got to keep them generated. Number generator, picking a winner. I'm sinking for Russell Puzzle. Whoa. Let's find out who's going to win. All right, so... Right now, the jackpot giveaway, ladies and gentlemen, it is this bad boy, Jumper T18 Pro, going out to you guys. Let's see who is going to win. Let's open up the giveaway form and then pick a winner, winner, chicken dinner. So the form is populating right now. Scrolling down. Down, down. Three, four, four, two. So the last one looks like it's Alan. Uh... Three, four, four, two. Three, four, four, two. That is from Alan. He is the, he's not the winner. He's the last one that put an entry in. All right, so let's have a look right here. Um, what do I need? I need a number picker. Three, 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 four, four, two. Okay, let's have a look. Jumping over here. Screen share. You gotta keep them generated. Win a prize. Boop a doop a doo 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 doo. Win a win a chicken dinner. One and three are four four two. Let's click generate. Whoa, it's a little one, boys. Uh this might be some of you OG, you people who started from the start, original gangsters, uh, gangsters who was here at the start of the streams of the live streams. Two, seven, eight. Let's find out who that winner is. Are you going to be winning a radio? Two, seven, eight. Scrolling. Keep scrolling, scrolling, scroll. <laughs> Two, seven, eight. Mate, is this... It sounds like we could have this person here. Maybe, maybe. Let's have a look here. That's if this... Didn't last long. One. Let's have a look here. All right. We have. Here is the winner winner. Chicken dinner. Where's random number generator? 278. 278. Congratulations to. If we go to Scarange. Yeah, 278. 278. Uh, yep, it's all looking good. Screen share. All right. Congratulations to Doug. Uh, Doug Walker, actually. Uh, please send me an email from this. Um, I don't know if this is the normal Doug uh, who's often here in the streams. Um, 278, 278. Doug, you've got half an hour. We'll give you a little bit more time um, till 10 past 12. Send me an email if you are here in the chat. Um 
And let's find out. Chaos is saying, well, crap. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Congrats. Congrats. Well done, Doug. Uh, congrats, Doug. Giddy up. Bottom text. Big brain right there from JFBV. Uh, hey, Donnie saying, woo, congratulations, Dig Doug. I don't know if this is Dig Doug, though. So um, we're going to have to be finding that out. Look, hopefully you guys have enjoyed that. Um, definitely uh, subscribe for more FPV related content. Um, and I think that's going to do us boys and girls. We're going to be back tomorrow with the stream. I want to thank everybody so much, uh, for our Christmas goal, uh, that we just reached here. So helping, helping a kid, uh, with some Christmas. Um, can't wait to, I'm going to get on that straight after this. Um, other than that, subscribe for more FPV related content. Chaos says I'm late. I'm late for my live stream. Have a good day, Stu. So go check out Chaos's stream right now as well. That's Chaos FPV. Go check out his stream. And uh, I hope you all have a fantastic day. Why? Because you guys deserve it. This is the best part of my working week. Thank you so much for being here. Just thanks so much for being you. I want you to have a good day because you deserve it. You are kind, caring people. And there is nothing but love and kindness in this community. And that's going straight back to you. What goes around comes around. You should feel good about yourself because you are good people. And I want you to have a good day. So, look, that's it from me. Um, be kind to each other. Nothing but love you all, as Donnie would say. Subscribe for more FPV or related content. Trunk and Bullet saying, don't you end this stream, Stu. <laughs> and he's even sent through a little donation. <laughs> okay, okay, look, you, you get a little bit, a little bit more... Uh, you can't just buy me a drink like that. I'm not just going to disappear straight away, you know. Um, man, and DU for FPV says, Thanks for the awesome energy you give off. You make me feel like a sausage between two buns loaded with onions and peppers. <laughs> okay, all right. Thank you very much. Um, Donnie's saying, make it is Doug. Uh, is Doug in the stream? Where are you, Doug? Let's have a, let's have a look. Uh, right here. See, is he in the stream? Um, Dougie, 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 Doug, Doug, Doug. Uh, congrats, Doug. Um, I can't see him in the stream though. Let's have a look here. Anyway, uh, D Dry Roll says, "Get Mrs. UAV Futures um a cow because they're symbols of maternity." Uh, no, it's all right, mate. We don't. I don't want any more kids. So my kids, if you ever watch this, uh, yeah, look, I'm happy to have you two kids, but I don't want any more, all right? Um, and let's have a look here. Ah, oh, he's going on Night Train FPV's live stream. Okay, very, very cool stuff. Scrolling down. I think that's it, uh, boys. Um, subscribe for more FPV-related content. Be kind to each other. And as always, happy flying.
All right, all right, boys, who are still here. We've got a bonus bit of the stream right now. Check this out. If I go to right here, who is still here in the chat? Uh, hey, Doug, is that you? Yeah, mate. How uh, you going? Good, good. So I'd seen your email doing a bit of bonus service right here, mate. Uh, you you won today's prize. Wow, really? So you got you got to send me an email, mate. Um, UAV futures at gmail.com. It is the jumper T18 radio pro or something like that. So yeah, I just thought a little bit of bonus. We'll ring you up on stream as well saying congratulations. Cause I've seen you in this stream so many times. So I just wanted to say thanks. Thanks for being here. Uh, thanks for supporting the stream as well, and I know you're a, uh, a Patreon as well, so thank you so much for everything that you do. Gonna say in a lol, hi Doug. Um, <laughs> DU4 is you saying congratulations as well. So there you go, brother. Um, I hope I, I hope that makes your day, but you still got you got to send me an email. I don't know if you can get someone to do that from your phone or something like that. Um, or something like that. Even a message. You can even message me back at this number and say, hey, it's Doug, but I need you to do something like that. So there we go. Okay. Yep. Too yep. easy. All right. Jay's saying, giddy up. Too easy. All right, Doug. Well, look, I'll let you go, mate, because I know, um, I don't know, I think you said you were driving or you just pulled over or something like that. Yep. But just pulled over to check the van and check everything's funky dory and yeah, well, we'll be back on the road. All Good right. Morning. So you're, 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 I think you said you were starting holidays or something like that as well. So what a, what a good yeah, start man. to your holidays. You won a uh, Jumper T18 Pro there, my friend. Wow. That's awesome. Too easy. Drunken Bullet saying, just give it to him, Stu. <laughs> <laughs> so look, this is about as good as it gets. You're getting some custom service here, ringing up and saying, hey, mate, you won, you won. Make sure you contact me. So there we go. <laughs> Brilliant. All right. Too, um, I'm wrapped. Too easy, mate. I'll, uh, I'll speak to you later. Okay, thanks, you, right. and thanks, everybody, and have a, have a great time over, Chrissy. You too, you too. All right, catch you, man. Bye. Okay, bye. There we go. I knew I had, uh, I knew I'd seen that email before, went through my emails, and it turns out I actually even had his phone number in one of those, so I gave him a buzz. That's going back to, if I look here, that was on the 8th of the 5th, 2018, when I searched for that email in my thing, so... Uh, a long time, I guess, uh, viewer of the channel. So there we go. Rock on, as people are saying. Awesome source. Uh, look, boys, I'm out. Subscribe for more FBV-related content. Remember, be kind to each other and be kind to yourself because you deserve it. It's easy to be kind to everybody else, but sometimes we're a little bit harder on ourselves than uh, we need to be. And I just want you to feel good about yourself because you deserve it. So anyway, I'm out. Catch you guys in 24 hours' time. And as always, happy flying.